So uh, off to the agenda then. So I've got the previous uh, minutes up. Thanks everybody for working on those and reviewing them. So we've got uh, some ongoing stuff for uh, the June dojo. Do we have things planned out for that? Uh, do we have a board AMA for the June dojo? I believe the plan was a yes. Shoot, okay. I'll need to re, um, I'll have to fit that in the schedule. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want it, like, you know, I'm certain our friends in the uh, European time zones are happy to, you know, rest. There is, um, let me look at the, uh, so I have the schedule up on the wiki. Uh, it goes from 1400 UTC, um, which is uh, 10 a.m. Eastern uh, through to uh, 20 UTC. Um, there is a, a lunch break in the middle that we could just like plow straight through and stick something in the middle. Um, or we could try to start earlier or go later. I'm beginning to think maybe this was enough content for a two day. I thought we'd just yeah. do a one day thing. But Yeah, so having breaks is nice, I think, in these events. So uh, I is it too late to make these into a two day thing? Hmm. Uh, I'd have to, um, I don't know how much attendance we'd get, you know, uh, we'd have to notify the, the attendees and I'd have to check with the, um, all the speakers to make sure that I can shift them around because I did send out emails to all the speakers to see if that schedule works. Um, but if that's what we want to do, we could do it. Um, and I do have an, another, <laughs> Another talk that came in after the deadline um, that I could also slide in. So, I mean, there's content to fill two days. Um, yeah, I don't know. From, from from my point of view, these are really valuable for the hallway track and like for the like idle chit chat between between talks and afterwards. So mm -hmm. I think that's definitely, it's definitely good if we can do that. Um, but yeah. on the other hand, yeah, it's probably a somewhat late because we have what they are, we can change. Um, yeah, I think yeah. it would be good to do a board AMA thing regardless because um, both in general for visibility and to give people an avenue to ask questions and stuff. Um, yeah, I, there is, you know, I, I, I had advertised it as 30 minute talks, um, it shortened it because I, I don't know, I feel like that works better in virtual people get screen fatigue. Um, and I have the schedule with 15 minutes between the talks. So there is some, you know, a little bit of break time and, have hallway track or, you know, go rest or something. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so they're not contiguous talks, sorry. From looking it, at it, I thought it was 45 minutes per talk. No, 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 it's 30 minutes per talk and then 15 okay. uh, to sit in the hallway track. And so the, the break is, is scheduled to be a full, well, full 45 minutes, but plus, uh, I guess, 15 of the previous one, so like an hour. I mean, we could just call it, it, it a board AMA is kind of a, a slightly more structured hallway track. Yeah. To call it a yeah. lunch and learn, I guess. So we, we could call these just like hang out with the board or something and have it just yeah. be a social session where we, we all try to be present. Yeah, that works fine for me. Yeah, I feel like that could work pretty well. Okay, then I'll just slide that in and then I don't have to move anyone's talks. Yeah, so I'm always a little hesitant to move things that people have agreed to because yeah. I mean, we're, we're asking them to give us free content. So it's nice to be nice. And uh, planning continues for the uh, August dojo. Well, for uh, DevConf and all of that? Yes, so I have I have space secured um, for um, for the 17th, which is the day before DevConf. 
uh, and I will uh, put it together a wiki page and, and I'll send out an announcement. Um, I, I, I guess I'll do that this week. I mean, uh, I can promote it at the, the virtual dojo, but it's good to just get, because we're, I mean, we're coming up on, it's just like two months away at this point, right? So um, people and, are making travel plans. Yeah, it's, if people are gonna travel, there often is pre-planning that needs to go into that. Yeah. And do you want to invite the person that had a talk after the deadline to resubmit there? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they'll come though. They're they're in the Czech Republic, so I'm not sure. Oh, um, okay. Uh, and I had actually asked them to talk, and then I didn't hear back until after the deadline. Maybe I should have just <laughs> reserved right. them a slot. So, uh, I, I might it, it's the it's the 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 Rel Docs team, um, and I asked them to talk oh. about the the work they've been doing on upstreaming. Um, yeah, that'd be good. I could, yeah, I could, you know, if they can't come, I could, I could present that. Um, I've been, you know, I regularly meet with them. They're doing all the like heavy lifting. So I'd have to get them to. They could also do a remote together, but... session if they're okay with like being up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we could probably, you know, slot them in early in that case. Um, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So if we want to do remote sessions, then we'll have to make sure we have the, you know, technical capabilities for that. So, yeah, I mean, I was just thinking a laptop with Zoom projecting or something like nothing right. terribly fancy. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that doc's presentation is probably going to be amazing. It's, there has not been traditionally a lot of deep insight into what's going on back there, and they're doing cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think in these specific cases, it would probably be worthwhile to try and accommodate them. So, barring anything else there onto the uh, issue tracker. So, uh, good news, no new issues. That's always an exciting place. So, uh, Brian, any updates on Secure Boot or any of that? Yeah, that's, that stuff is going a little bit slowly. Um, we were asked, uh, so we wanted to do an architecture review with the bootloader team, but uh, they've been busy with a few other things in the past few weeks. So uh, that, that, that's that been pushed back a few times. So I'll, I'll see what we have for next time around. Okay. Because so I know that that's uh, gaining increasing amounts of interest. Um, it is definitely going up steadily in terms of interest there. And uh, the historical SIG membership, I believe, we're mostly just waiting on the infrastructure team to have time to actually work on it. And I thought we closed 78. Um, that's the uh, errata policy document that uh, David wrote up. Oh yeah, that one I meant to rewrite it, but I was on PTO for the past two weeks, so I didn't do anything. Well, you're entitled to vacation. Everyone needs that's this. Good. Next time. Yeah, sounds fantastic. And uh, have we heard anything on the logo? I haven't heard anything on it all. Okay, uh, Sean, can I have you uh, kind of chase that person down? Because I don't want to super nag them because they're busy. And it looks great, but the last posting of it is marked as a draft. So I don't want to like commit them to draft work if they're unhappy and they want to make changes. But I'd love to get that sorted. Yeah, I, I will. Uh, I'll follow up. Um, there, there's some stuff about the contrast issues. It looks like it was resolved. I, I just got this. Um, it's it's artwork sigs um month for their quarterly and elaine sent me that so there's information in there that's relevant um so and i'll, I'll have wonderful. the report published um this week that's wonderful and uh 
the variant artifact publishing guidelines got merged in and those are good to go. So I think that one's all sorted. Which brings us back to our traditional holding issues. Um, any chance on getting CentOS into Azure given that RHEL 9 launched in Azure? And if we're intending to have Stream 9 as the leading test environment to really help people prove out their next generation of integration, it'd be awfully nice if we had this there for the integration. Yeah, you make uh, you make the exact exact arguments that we are making, uh, but I don't have anything um, anything else I can share at this time from legal. Okay, as the the uh, the stuckness on this is leaving me a bit worried. Um, as for Stream to really serve its purpose as an integration platform, it's really got to be there. But I know that there's a lot going on, and lawyer time is not measured linearly. Um, and so uh, then four is the logo stuff that really is sort of together with 71. So I think that the answers for those are basically once we get the uh, artwork SIG report, that'll really all feed together into one vein of things. And uh, any news on uh, AMIs for Amazon in the CN region? So, uh, I, so I, uh, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. I sent an email to, to, to David two weeks ago, but I didn't hear from him yet. So I don't know if you have more news on your side. Go ahead. Uh, I actually don't uh, because my email was uh, three, four weeks ago. Uh, actually, maybe right after the, the board meeting last time, and I haven't heard anything either. Okay. And uh, I'll then... try to go through through someone that know him better than I do. <laughs> like I met Karam Beer to if he if he can just because maybe I mean getting an email from unknown is a bit uh, like uh, crazy to expect an answer. Uh, depending on the amount of mail he has to read every day. So I, I will try to, to ask Karambi if he can just organize a, a small meeting online and I'll try to, to move that way. Yeah, yeah. Is it, I suspect that uh, that one is a more complicated set of legal issues than uh, Azure, but not a lawyer and not a lawyer. Yeah, it's just to to understand if we can unblock the situation. Otherwise, uh, okay, we we know it's uh, it can be closed. And likely the same for uh, WSL. Um. Uh, so the 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 one thing I can share, like I, nothing with with regard to outcomes or anything, but uh, the we we think that the Azure and the WSL issues are going to be. Uh, reduced to the same problem. So we're, we're not having to attack this twice. Uh, we're attacking okay. it once and then doing it for both of those those properties. Will that also help for Fedora as well? Because I know we're blocked in the same regard there too. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I don't I don't have any any updates to give you about that. Yeah, so I'd also love to have Fedora in there and I'd also love to have RHEL in there and I'd really love to have Silverblue in there and uh, I'd love to have a hyperscale WSL and like just hey. frustrating to wait. Yeah, I can make WSL images the moment we are actually allowed to upload them. Like, I I am the maintainer of the tooling around it in the first place. So it's mostly a question of whether we're even allowed to do it at all. That I'm going to give any effort towards it. Yeah, can't we do it in as individual? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a really interesting ecosystem to enter into and has a lot of potential for development workflows. Um, I know at the lab, I'm very excited about it, if, and if it's not really gone anywhere yet, just because so many developers have so many different kinds of machines that the more places we can give them a real Linux environment that is our environment, the easier their lives might be. 
Johnny, haven't seen you in a while. How are things? Hey, Johnny. Going, going good. Is, is my voice working? Yep. Yep, you're fine. But, uh, Pat, I that sounds more like you'd like the ability to make custom WSL images for your environment. That's a sort of a separate thing um, for this, and that's certainly something I could help you make for your environments if you wanted that. But uh, the question of officially offering it in the Microsoft Store for all the things that that implies and yada, 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 um, that's that's more of the question I'm interested in because building the, uh, like I have the tooling and as Mike McLean knows, like the, the tooling apparatus stuff is now supported in Koji uh, with, with the Kiwi support. And so producing a WSL image is more of a question of can we make one and publish it rather than do we have the facilities to do so? Because we definitely do. Yeah. Yeah, as I'm, I'm interested in both. Um, once there is an official one, then there's something to play with to see what is required to actually build a site-specific one. Because I'm pretty sure that I need a one line change in one file to be happy with it. And that I can probably just farm out to documentation. But it's more need to have something there that I can hand to our developers and say, fight with this. Does it do something you like? And then try it from there. It's people are very specific in their workflows, which is wonderful because it makes them productive, but it's tricky when all of their workflows are different. Yeah, there's also some other fun side cases on the fact that uh, using your own kernel in WSL is sort of undefined, but uh, um, it is supposed to be technically possible. Um, those are all things that need to be figured out. Um, uh, like I have contacts at Microsoft for working on the technical aspects of WSL stuff, but until we get Red Hat's okay for Azure and WSL for both Fedora and CentOS, I can't really do anything. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like that's on lawyer time, which is a nonlinear unit. Yeah, I saw Bex join. You you don't have any input on that, Bex, uh, from, from Red Hat perspective? If we can expect to be unblocked uh, or if we can ping uh, someone? Um, I am working out context as to which issue you were discussing as I joined late. So if you can give me a little more context, I could possibly have a statement. It, it was all the legal around, uh, around Azure and WSL uh, artifacts that we would like to provide to the community uh -huh. the official um, I don't know that I have anything else to say right now other than I know that there are efforts going on where this continues to be a part of that conversation. Um, but I, I don't have anything definitive to add, okay. unfortunately, at this time. Thanks. I recognize the importance of it to the project and to the community, and I do communicate that information internally, as does Sean and, and many others. Yeah, and, Max, I just threw the links to the relevant board issues in case you need more context. No, I, I remember the two issues. I was just trying to debate where you were in the agenda between 3 and 80 because there was a comment about the quantity of legal someone was speculating which was needed. That that threw me off on my decision-making process about where you were. Yeah. Thank you, though, Neil. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all we can ask you to do is to raise the importance, and that is what you're doing, so thanks. Uh, which I think brings us to... Uh, Sean's piece of the agenda. So Sean, I hand you the table or the floor or the chair or whichever unit of measure we're using. Okay, uh, actually I thought something was on the agenda and it's not, so I might um, bring that in here. We already went through the first two, which is the dojo and the other dojo. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I would like to, we should make a decision on if we want to do a, uh, a board face-to-face -face at DEF CONF. Um, and we could do it before the dojo on the 16th. We could do it after DEF CONF on the 21st. Um, or we could just do it during DEF CONF. Um, I don't have to attend all the talks there, but I don't know what other people's um, 
lives are like around DEF CON. So um, I'm not sure how to make that decision. I don't know if we should just vote on it or uh, if people want to discuss it or. Um. Uh, I'd be tempted to uh, just fire up a doodle poll and uh, let people fill in what works for them. Okay. Um, and then also around DEF CONF, um, we had discussed doing it, it just a, a dinner or something that could be board and uh, board and contributors. Um, is there is there interest in that? I can try to secure us a place. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I guess I probably um, probably want to get an attendees list, and I'm not sure. I guess I could just ask the board to uh, tell me people that they uh, know are attending or think are attending that they would like to invite. Um, it, in the past, when we've done dinners like this at mm -hmm. at Fosdem, it's um, it's usually been a little in flux. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, sometimes we have people uh, get pulled into those uh, that talk to us during the conference so we yeah. want to leave room for that mm -hmm. so in that case we, the the scheduling on it then we'd probably want it to be maybe oh. towards the end of the conference um so that that even can happen um it, or, or middle maybe just not middle uh, like the yeah the second it day. depends on yeah yeah you don't want to do the last day because people often skip the last day but yeah, sure. beyond that yeah having a Having a reservation somewhere with a block of seats, and then some of these will have people that we already know are coming, and some will fill them as they come. Uh, right. Ideally, at a place that doesn't hate us, if we're not exactly the right number, that's right. probably ideal. Right. Just make sure there's extra space and uh, try to cover dietary restrictions and stuff. And yeah. okay. As for how to see the initial list, I say we can probably start with folks that attend these board meetings yes. that are going to be at a conference, that's probably a good way to start seeding it. And then I, I think we can probably, we can also bring this up at Dojo if you want, mm -hmm. like at a virtual Dojo and be like, hey, if you're a contributor and this is something you'd be interested in, send an email or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say it's just sort of a process thing. My most productive conversations tend to be surrounded by food. I mean, that <laughs> might just be me, but... Uh, there's something about having a plate of food in front of people that clears a lot of things. Is anybody um, strictly avoiding indoor dining at this point? Okay. Nope. No, but we will see if things change in two months, I guess. Yeah, right. Of course. Who knows? Yeah. I, I expect people that are avoiding indoor dining are probably not going to get on a plane to come to this. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I have to be a little cautious because I'm currently living with someone with a compromised immune system, but oh. uh, conveniently, my mother-in-law is living in the bottom half of my house and I'm living in the top half of my house mostly, so. Okay. Um, and uh, just the note that I sent this, the kind of a, an overview of public information about our SIGs. And, and I'm gonna be working on um, trying to clean up a lot of the, the, the pages around the SIGs. A lot of them, like I copied there, you know, what the SIG is. And a lot of them, that first paragraph on the page is, is what they wrote for the proposal for the SIG. And it hasn't been updated since they were, you know, actually um, formally made into a SIG. So just cleaning those pages up, um, no action required other than, you know, Take a look at the, the thing if you haven't already and comment on any SIGs you uh, are involved in. Um, and I'll be on vacation for two weeks at the end of this month, beginning of next month. So um, if you need anything, tell me before that. I won't have my laptop. So I, I won't be completely offline, but I won't have my laptop. Um, and that's all of that. And then I don't know if we wanted to discuss um, 
um, a new um, board member. Is that was that on the agenda for today? Um, that was an open question. Um, there, there was a board member who indicated possibly transitioning off, but it wasn't clear that that was a uh, public decision by that board member. Oh, uh, okay. So I contacted that board member and he said that we can just go ahead and discuss it. I'm sorry, okay. I told Amy that, but Amy is not here, of course. So, um, so yes, we can discuss it without an, you know, a, a pre-announcement or anything. Okay. So, so yeah, um, I, I will hand the floor to Truth oh. since you've unmuted. <laughs> I think your mic is turned down. down. Yeah. So I can hear you, but very. Yeah. Is it better now? So that's better. Much. I think it's time to for me to move away from the board. Yeah. I've been in the backseat for too long now. I think it's time for new bloods to take over. Well, as thanks for all of your work for all of these years, True. Um, yeah. It was a long time ago. Yes. And it was done wonderfully then, and it was done wonderfully now. Yeah. So I think I would keep my access for reading books, but uh, I will no longer be a, a board member. I think I can keep being part of the community, whatever it is now. Yeah. Cool. So. Please yeah. go, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, I think we should uh, get that process started. Uh, Sean, I think Rich gave you the list of everyone who was nominated for the last uh, set of openings. If you'd like to recontact them, see if they're still interested and we should also open it to the DEVA list for any new folks who would like to nominate others or self-nominate. Um, for, for the folks at home watching the recording, Several of our members were nominated by other people last time and were elected. So like, if you think someone is good, nominate them because you have a good pulse on our community as part of our community. Great, I, yeah, I wasn't sure about the uh, nomination process. So it is a public, people can self nominate or be nominated by yep. uh, just our community, okay. Yeah, and the nominations go privately to the board where we check to make sure that the person who was nominated is actually interested and that someone didn't pretend to be someone else and then pretended to self-nominate. Because right. I'm not saying we get Google spam, but it's nice to check these things. Yeah, I think we used either our Google form or an email alias last time to accept submissions. It was a Google form the last couple of times. Yeah. And it went uh, directly to Rich so that he could validate that it was uh, really submitted by a real person and not a robot web scraper. Okay, I will do Rich's process then. Okay, and if if you find ways to improve it or make it more awesome, like by all means. But yeah, so that's uh, moments of transition are always complicated, but it is also exciting to get more ideas and more mind share. And is our, what's our timeline on, um, uh, when would the board vote? Will the board vote in a, one of these meetings uh, on new board member? Uh, we usually in the past have voted by uh, email okay. or uh, a Google form to Rich. Oh, it was, I remember last time because yeah. Rich, Rich looped me in on the, the, the final part of the process um, yeah. because we're in transition then. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's, so, uh, it's a confidential Google form, yeah. right? A confidential Google form, uh, traditional ranked choice. And we've never had an issue where we had to worry about runoff options. Okay. And yeah, we've got, I think it's, we're broken into two cohorts for six months for checking in. I have to look back at uh, which yes. group is which? I, I already checked with the other people who are, um, who's, who's the time's not up, but who have to opt back in and they're all yeah. opting back in. So that's fine. And 
Yeah, I think that that's everything we've gotten on here. Um, there's a section for uh, SIG reports. If any SIG members have anything they want to report. Okay. Um, I'd say we've had a pretty successful meeting. Unless anybody's got anything else they'd like to add to the hopper, because we have uh, plenty of time left. So if you have a burning or even slightly warm idea. Well, hearing uh, nothing further, I think I'll uh, let all of you folks go. Uh, our European friends have a good rest of your evening. And for those of us uh, in North America, have a good pre-dinner time. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. See, see you in a month. As usual, the agenda is posted for next time. So feel free to add topics if you feel like. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you all. True. Oh, it's yes. not. It's not. It's it's not going to be very fun without you being here. You will not hear me complaining any longer. <laughs> the three of us are the the last of the originals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to miss you then. Also, Pat, your picture. You look um, quite different from your actual face. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a business uh, card. <laughs> As I, I keep ending up in these professional meetings where I'm supposed to not look like I'm sitting here in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, see, I just I just go with an avatar that is totally unprofessional, and everyone's like, "All right, then." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that uh, picture is from before Christmas. So uh, went oh, out. Wait, to we're still recording, and we've sort of passed into. Uh... A very casual conversation. Do we want to? Oh, yeah. You have to.